A teenage girl forced into a car and sexually assaulted steps away from a local high school. Good evening, I'm Steve Dunn. And I'm Deborah Knapp. Police say her attacker is a complete stranger. It happened near David Douglas High School on Southeast 135th Avenue. That's where K2's Megan Kalkstein is live now. And Megan, will they be boosting security out there? Yeah, Stephen Deb, that is the plan. Although the principal here says that police do not believe that any of the other students here are in danger. Still, they are looking at adding additional security. The district tells me they're actually looking at placing more security cameras around campus here. But tonight, they have sent a letter home with students to give to parents, focusing on more immediate safety. This is so close to home. Curtis Lewis is proud of his neighborhood. He not only lives near David Douglas High School. After that incident, yeah, it's kind of scary. His son is also a sophomore here. But when he picked up his teen from school with a letter in hand from the principal, he says the news was just shocking. It's kind of frightening. On Friday, January 21st, around 12.30 in the afternoon, police say a man forced a student into a car near campus. Then he sexually assaulted her. Police say the girl didn't know her attacker at all. The picture I saw looked like a 90% of Portland. Do you the short hair, the lip piercings? In the letters sent home with students, the principal says safety is their top priority. They have patrols on this closed campus and tell K2 they may increase security by adding more cameras. Cameras. They're also reminding students about safety precautions, writing, quote, encourage your students to walk to and from school in groups. If approached or grabbed by a stranger, they should run away, yell if necessary, and immediately contact authorities. You might never know it could be you one of these days just walking down the street and then out of nowhere just get it like attacked or something like that. A situation Lewis says can't happen again in their neighborhood. We as a community and neighbors got to start actually looking out for each other. Now, I asked police why it took almost two weeks to release this information. They tell me that it takes time to do interviews in sexual assault cases like this, to do these sensitive interviews, and also uh, considering that this one deals with a juvenile. We are live in Southeast Portland. Megan Cox, 9K2 News. I always want to take extra precaution, especially around schools, too. Megan, thank you.